The clear sea of January, cold wind that pierced the skin. Occasionally, a strong gust would sway the pine grove and the sound of the waves calmly reverberated. Well, there's nothing besides this here. Handed over the tower with Shirashi construction printed on it, it was what we had used to wipe our bodies down with before. Hey, don't make such a face. Seemingly slightly dissatisfied, the girl took the towel. Suddenly swaying, swaying, saying she wanted a swimsuit, what could I do? In this season, at the place on top of that, she said she wanted a bikini. Doing what I could, what came out of the car when I searched was a white, uh, was that white tower that had been in the pile of laundry. And then waiting for a while. And that skirt she liked, with the towel from just before wrapped around her chest, the girl appeared. Well, even if you asked me that... Mm, well, probably. Ah, oh, it's perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, what the f you would okay? Why would okay? <sighs> uh, what's perfectly fine? Totally not strange at all. Hmm. All right. Then the girl slowly began walking out on the water's edge. Waves gathered and retreated. Long hair fluttered in the cold sea breeze. In the sky, as if delivering the finishing blow, snow lightly fell. Then all of that, the girl held both her shoes in both hands. Happily, as if she were splashing around, walking barefoot at the edge of the water. <laughs> hmm, maybe so, so. In the, in the cold my, in the cold of midwinter, our breaths whitely misted. Then I took out the camera that I had taken from the car earlier. A cheap looking disposable camera had only one more shot in it. Here, I'll take a picture of you. Oh, I'll take pictures of you. Bro, it's- okay, no, you only have one picture. I'm sure it'd be more like- it'd be more like it that way. As I spoke, I made a show preparing the camera. Come now, don't be so reserved, okay? The water's edge. The girl seemed- the girl seen through the viewfinder. Maybe she was a bit nervous or perhaps embarrassed. Her face was much more complicated than usual. So could you give me a better pose? No buts. Look, there's no gra uh, gravure? Gravure model that would stand like a stake. Even while see she even while still seemingly a bit embarrassed, in her own way, she tried her best. Shyly putting her hand on her waist, she threw her free hand out wide. That hand, it stretched out towards the clear winter sky. As if it were about to grasp something. We're trying to grab something. Stretched straight towards the sky with the emerald green sea to her back. Well then, one last thing. Hmm? Smile. Smile for me. That sounds way more creepier when I think about it, but I know it's all right in this. The, oh! Smile for me, Setsumi. Okay, that makes it better. Aww. Saying that, for the first time she smiled for me. Girl wearing the skirt she liked with a white bikini. Smiled for the last shot on the disposable camera. Smiled with the emerald green sea to her back. It was as if a gravier- Ah! Grab your model with her smiling at me. Like from the magazine he was looking at, right? Great, then how about a pose with a bit more movement? <laughs> happily, she- Happily, like she were having fun, she splashed through the water. The film had already been used up in the camera, but I still continued to take shots. Oh, you're getting caught up in this, aren't you? <laughs> Cheerfully, we talked. As if making another attack, the snow even fell even harder. And in that, through the viewfinder of the camera that had already run out of film, the girl showed a happy face. Even as her small body was thrown out by the wind, she directed her newly recalled smile towards me. Oh. Nah, it's already that time. With that answer, like before, the girl started walking towards the sea. That's fine. Take it as a memento. While nodding, she put it in her pocket. It was the license that had once handed to her. Really, it was something that should have already lost its debut. Then the girl took off that vinyl, vinyl, <laughs> white vinyl bracelet and wrapped around her wrist and offered it to me. Are you giving this to me? I see. Then I'll take it as a memento myself. In the same way, I accepted the bracelet and placed it in my pocket. Then, once again, the girl began walking towards the sea. Facing her back, I threw out my final words. Hey, can I ask you just one last question? Uh. You, right now, 
want me to pull you back? Oh, instead, you want me to give you a push from behind. While the wave splashed at her feet, the girl stopped in place. Her back remained facing me after I asked the question. A strong wind turned the crest of the waves into a spray that struck her. Before long, she turned around and... <laughs> Saying that just one more time, she smiled for me. While being struck by the spray from the waves, even as if tears welled up, she faced me with a smile. Before, those feet had stopped at the water's edge. But this time, they didn't stop. That was why I thought that was her answer. Oh. And so our journey of 960 kilometers ended. To me, it was 15 days time. To her, it was the end of a 22 year journey. Not the seventh floor, nor home, of her own will, she avoided them. In the year 2005, she was one of the estimated 35,000 people who committed suicide. Blood type O, named Setsumi, 22 years old, female, mild identification bracelet, white. This was everything about the girl. But I knew. Oh, In reality, she liked bikini swimsuits, knew more about the roads than a navigation system, and loved cars. She even had a license. She was always without expression, and would only rarely face you. But once in a while, she would even make this embarrassed pouting face. The emerald seat to her back. As if dancing happily, like a Grat Veer model, she smiled. And despite that, on this cheap, disposable camera, only a single picture remained of her smile. Aww. But even so, even with just one picture, it was the proof of ourselves that we left behind. Aw, oh, man! Okay! That's interesting. This is a cute story! Wait, okay, it's probably not cute. It's more just, like, interesting. Because I obviously trying to make a commentary about, like, people who are stuck with this kind of position where they know they're gonna die. And so what do you do when you know you're gonna die if you don't want to die in the hospital versus, like, home? I feel like there's still- I feel like I need to go back and read. I think there's still more to chew on here. I think, obviously, there's- oh, side two. Oh yeah, there- okay, yeah, yeah, there's more games, right, 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 right. Those dazzling days, those witcher days. Oh, Dude, Oh, Oh man. Wow. And we're back! Oh my god! What are we gonna do about Narcissus 2? Like, she already died! <laughs> what is there more to see? Okay, well, obviously I want to go and read it, but I do remember- at least Narcissus 1, I do remember, or first, I, I, everything is coming back to me slowly in how this game- or how, like, the visual novel was. Which, it was a nice read! I liked it. I think I probably would have wanted to see more, um... I don't know. Not a psychological thing, like, I don't know, I feel like more of a... Hmm. More... Themes? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what I'm trying to say here. Because I feel like we're just watching these two do their thing, right? I guess each thing's supposed to prove how, like, less- not mortal, like, less, like, human or, like, more weak that they're becoming. Uh, I probably have a big analysis here somewhere, but I'm just not sure what to think about it right now. Because, it, 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 like, at face value, it's like, okay, yeah, it's a story about two people who are going on, like, adventure to, you know, do whatever so they can escape, like, their seventh floor death, I guess. But I wonder if the main characters will die soon after that. Probably not, right? But it's really more about Setsumi than it is about the main character. Okay, regardless, uh, still enjoyed Narcissu first. Uh, it's definitely like a like a nice read. It's not too long, like <laughs> not compared to other visual novels that I read. Not too long. Stories, pretty straightforward. If there's anything that I do like about Narcissu first is that they make it really easy to read. Like I do love the line by line how small the pictures are. Like I don't have to think about it too hard. So that was pretty chill. Um, yeah, I like it. I think it's a pretty classic visual novel story um i don't know in my head maybe it's because i read maybe it's because i read this when i was like really young but anywho i don't know if i have any more thoughts to say i'm just kind of rambling on but um thanks for watching if you did uh i'll be sure to do more <laughs> goodbye